What's up, book lovers? It's Tabby. Welcome back to another edited, crapalicious, awesome, tastic new video. Today, I am bringing you my Cramathon TBR, and this readathon takes place July 10th through July 13th. And so these are the books that I'm hoping to read for this readathon. The first challenge is read a hardcover book. So I just got Off the Page by Jodi Pico and Samantha Van Leer um, and from my local library. And I'm so excited to read this. I have not read Between the Lines, but this is a companion novel to it. And it's a hardcover book. So I'm hopefully going to read this for Cramathon. The second challenge is to read a children's book. So for the children's book, I am choosing Liar and Spy by Rebecca Stead, and I still have not got to this, and I really need to. It's super short, so hopefully I can read this. The point of this readathon is just to read a whole bunch of really short books and try to bump up your Goodreads um, goal thing. So that's what I'm doing. So this is pretty short, and it's a children's book. The next challenge is read a graphic novel, and I am choosing Popularity Papers by Amy Ignato, and this is the third book in the series. I read these when I was, like, a lot younger, and they are just hilarious. I know they seem, like, really cheesy and cliche, but they are totally not. They are totally joking, and I swear it's, it's about these um, two girls, and they, like, um, try to be more popular or whatever. They do this whole thing. And it's just hilarious, and I love these. They're graphic novels slash, like, comics, you know what I mean? Like, kind of a dire, wimpy kid thing. But they are so hilarious, and uh, I'm doing this for read a graphic novel. The next challenge is read a book that's written in verse, and I'm reading Hate That Cat by Sharon Creech. And this is written in verse. I, I didn't really have any other books that were written in verse, um at the library besides Ellen Hopkins books and those kind of deal with the darker topics and I don't really want to read like a dark book in the Cramathon because like tend to want to have read like more lighter just to like get on with them really fast so I'm reading Hate That Cat. The next challenge is to read a novella and I am reading the novella at the end of Scarlet which is The Queen's Army and it's a novella about Wolf. I'm super excited to get into it. It's only like 30-20 pages so Hopefully I can read that really fast. And there's another challenge, which read two books in one day, which I'll probably be able to do. And then I'm just having some extra books on the side because I don't have many things to read already for this weekend. So I'm hoping to read the fourth book in the Land of Story series, which I just, just got today because it just came out today. And it's Beyond the Kingdoms by Chris Colfer. And it's the fourth Land of Stories book. And I swear it is so gorgeous love it like seriously look at this cover guys uh it is so gorgeous i just love it and i love the map inside it too they get to go to neverland in this book i've heard like oh uh, it is so amazing i can't believe it i'm really hyped to get into this one right away so hopefully i can get into this one like first first thing and then another book I'm just reading on the side, um, I'm already halfway through it, is The Penderwicks by Deanne Birdsall. This is a really light read. Love it. It's about this family, um, these four girls that um, don't ha they have a single dad, and they go to this, they move to this new house, and it's so great, and they meet this boy, and it's really cool. So I like this so far, really do, enjoying it. So this is just going to be on the side. So these are all the books that I hope to read in for Cramathons. Super excited for them, and some of this one's a novella, so don't think it's too long. Too long, but yeah, really excited to read all these. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Don't be haters. See you later. Bye.